And we've just heard in the last couple of minutes, in fact, that the suspect, the 18-year-old uh, suspect who the police say opened fire on their officers in Ferguson, Missouri, and who was critically injured uh, when the officers shot back, that is Tyrone Harris, who's 18 years old, and he has just been charged with assault on law enforcement officers. So just charged with assault on law enforcement officers. He remains in hospital in a critical condition. Well, we can speak now to Trey Yinkst, who is a co-founder and journalist for the American news website, uh, News 2 Share. And he joins us via webcam from Ferguson and uh, was actually at the rallies last night. Uh, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, what, first of all, what is, what is the latest there? What is the mood that you're sensing on the streets now? Uh, the mood's very, very tense here. I mean, what, what happened last night really escalated the situation to a place that it, it wasn't previously. So uh, going forward into tonight, uh, people are, are upset. Uh, a lot of the information that was coming out last night was, was actually false information, as, as we often see with police shootings. Um, so a lot of the people that were protesting were getting upset because they thought that the police had killed an unarmed uh, black man again. Uh, they were equating what happened last night to the death of Michael Brown when uh, they were really two completely different instances. Uh, and what is your reading of what did happen? I mean, uh, you know, how did it, how did the uh, shooting start? Sure. Um, well, I was in that, that crowd of people. Uh, you could hear from that audio clip. Uh, it sounded almost like maybe 50, maybe even 60 shots rang out. Um, and it was just back and forth, back and forth. Um, so when that happened, uh, everyone ran in different directions. Everyone kind of scattered. Uh, I did not actually see the, the guy who was shot. Um, but from what I heard from people who were very close by to that, they said that he did have a gun and uh, police fired on him. I, I didn't hear that he actually fired at police, uh, but again, it, it was difficult to get information in all the chaos that, that was ensuing last night. And we're hearing now, as I was just saying, that that 18-year-old Tyrone Harris ha has been charged by, by the police, but I mean, his father is saying the police version of events is a bunch of lies. So um, is all of this a recipe, do you think, for further tension, but potentially even further violence there in Ferguson? I think it is, um, unfortunately, because yesterday we saw a, a very peaceful march and memorial service for Michael Brown, and uh, it just looks like things are going in the wrong direction here in Ferguson. And uh, unfortunately, on the streets in, in uh, Ferguson and the surrounding suburbs of St. Louis, right now there's people marching downtown, um, and they're upset. Uh, they're upset still that, that Darren Wilson is walking free after uh, the death of Michael Brown, and now they're upset about the shooting last night. So I think that it's a, a really bad combination of things that could ultimately lead to potential rioting uh, and looting like we saw in, in November and August. Yeah, and a year on, does it seem to you that not that much has changed in Ferguson? Uh, yeah, re really not that much has changed. Uh, yesterday we were talking to a lot of law enforcement officers and, and community members who said, you know, people are still getting treated the same way that they were treated a year ago. It's a, it's a systematic problem. And just as I was driving to my hotel, Last night, I, I saw a, a young man riding a bicycle, and all of a sudden, the police pulled him over and searched him and, and patted him down and then let him go. And it's just this systematic, um, really, discomfort between the community and law enforcement, I think, that's leading to these issues um, and these, these violent outbreaks that really have been plaguing Ferguson and also plaguing the city of St. Louis. Well, thank you so much for your time. That's Trey Yinks, who's uh, from the American News website, News to Share. Thank you very much indeed.